Hello and welcome to Happy Bending. I'm Bill, and today I'm going to tell you all about tube fill mood. Stay tuned. Happy Bending. So what exactly is tube fill mode? Tube fill mode is a way for the coin changer to communicate to the control board of the machine to let the machine know exactly how much money is in the coin changer. Now if you have a modern coin changer, let's say like a 7512 or a new Griffin coin changer, those coin changers have a control board in them, a little computer, and they know exactly how much money they have in the changer. And it communicates that amount through MDB to the control board of the machine. But if you have an older coin changer, like one of these older CoinCo ones, and there's thousands of these out in the field still because these are reliable coin mechs and people still use them, but they don't have a control board inside them that knows exactly how much money they have in them so that they can communicate that to the control board. So the machine has a little feature called tube fill mode that when you put a coin changer like this in your machine, you go into tube fill mode and then you put all the, the money into the machine and it goes through the coin changer and the control board counts each coin that's going in there so that the control board knows exactly how much money should be in the coin changer. Even in an old coin changer like this, they do have sensors in these tubes so that when they get up to a certain level, they don't keep trying to put money in the tubes. It then starts putting your money into your, your coin hopper here. So it does have those sensors, and right now I emptied all the, the change out of the coin changer of this machine. I dumped it on the table because I'm going to show you how you go about doing two fill mode. So the machine, the coin changer knows that it doesn't have any change in it. So if you look on the front here, you see that you've gone into correct change mode. It's telling the user that when you come over here, you have to put exact change in this machine because it can't give you change out of the coin changer. If you ever come by one of your machines and you see that light on, you're either going to have to fill up money into your coin changer, or if you go in here and you see that the coin changer has money in it, then you probably want to run tube fill mode, dump all the money out, run tube fill mode as you're putting the money in so that the control board knows how much. And then if it's still giving you an exact change light, then that's a sign that the coin changer is bad and that needs to be sent out for service. So how do we do this? How do we get it into tube fill mode? Well, you're gonna have to press the programming button on the control board. This is a Royal G3 machine with an older control board. It has the red button here. I press that and then I look on the display. I'm in the menus. The first menu is error. Uh, I'm going to press the second button here to go up, and I have to go up, oh, I went, I went past it, I'm going to go third button down, TUC, TUFL, that's the abbreviation for tube fill mode on this machine. Now pretty much every vending machine has a tube fill mode, even snack machines like this, AP123, so depending on your machine, uh, you would have to go through different menus to get to the tube fill mode. but. This is where it is on this royal. So once I get to that, I'm gonna press the fourth button on here to enter that, and then the display goes blank. And now it's ready for me to start putting change in there. So I'm gonna start with some quarters. And I just put my first quarter in, it says one. So it knows it has one quarter in there. Second quarter, third quarter. drink in this machine is a dollar. So the people that use this either put exact change in anyhow or they put a dollar bill in and you, it never gives change. The coin changer never gives change. So I don't have to put a ton of changes in. I'll put 12 quarters in. Now let me grab some dimes. When you're setting up a coin changer, you at least have to have nickels in there, the smallest denomination. Notice it went back to one, because now I'm dealing with dimes. This is a three column coin changer. It takes nickels, dimes, and quarters. So let's, 
let's put 12 dimes in. Sometimes a coin will go through your coin changer, especially an older coin changer, like this old coin cow. I don't put a real good coin changer in this machine because it never gives change. So why bother? Well, you have to have one in here. Sad word. Change of price on something because of inflation to a dollar and a quarter, and then all of a sudden you're going to need that in there be given 75 cents all the time. I mean, I, sh I should just be able to close the door at this point and it will keep all that in memory. And that light should go out. There. The correct change light has gone out. So now, the machine knows exactly how much money is in the coin changer. And that's what tube fill mode is for. But once again, really only if you have an older coin mech that doesn't have a computer board on it that's showing the exact amount in the coin changer. Let's give it a try. Let's put some coins in there and see if it works. Now, when you put coins in this machine from this point on, the control board in the machine is keeping track of the coins going in and it knows that it's then stacking them into the coin changer. So it's constantly from this point on keeping track of the money. However, if I went back into tube fill mode on this machine, I think on these Royal G3s it will reset back to zero and then I have to start, you know, back at, you know, one, two, three and it kind of deletes its memory. But as long as I don't go back into tube fill mode, it's keeping track of all this money as I put it in, and it stacks it into the coin changer. It's always good to test your coin changer from time to time with all different types of coins, just to make sure it's working properly. So I'm putting dimes, nickels, and quarters in here. Here's another quarter. A dollar, let's get a Diet Coke. Diet Coke is the biggest seller here in the factory. And there we go. Everything's working great. Well, hopefully you learned something. And if you like videos like this, make sure you like and subscribe. And as always, happy vending.